While so many local businesses are struggling during this time, a sports memorabilia company in Dodge County has actually seen an uptick in business over the last two weeks. Sports director Brandon Kindar joins us live now with that story. Nina, today I spoke with the co-owner of Real Breaks. That's a company that sells baseball and football cards online through videos on YouTube and Facebook. And while many sports fans are searching for new forms of entertainment as sports have come to a standstill, Real Breaks is reaping the benefits. Good evening. Welcome to Real Breaks. My name is Tom Kolcheski. Tom Kolcheski, the co-owner of Real Breaks, says his output has more than doubled in the last two weeks. Two weeks ago, we had a huge uptick um, to where we couldn't even meet our demand, couldn't even come close to meeting our demand. Uh, with everyone staying home, there's no sports to watch. <laughs> Kolcheski says most new customers are what they call re-entry collectors, adults who haven't collected in years but find their way back into the hobby. So we get a ton of people like that, which is really cool to sit down and explain what cards look like today because they're very, very different than when I grew up, when you grew up, they're, they're very different. They're a lot cooler now. A prime example, this rare Daniel Jones rookie card. A highlight of last week's work. Oh my God. So there's only one made autographed by Daniel Jones and then the NFL shield that he wore on his jersey. So this card is easily a $10,000 card. And Kolcheski says the collector who won that card paid just $450. That money guaranteed him any New York Giants cards that came in the case. The result was certainly good fortune. So he did really, really well on that. Definitely those type of products are gambling type products. You could easily say that. So you get that excitement, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that share of the case and I get all the Giants cards. And while many are eager to find that excitement, Kolcheski says he never wants to pressure anyone into buying. He hopes fans who might be missing sports tune in just for the entertainment. Pete Alonzo, oh, goodness gracious. We have a lot of people that just enjoy watching that don't buy in and that is awesome it's a great way to enjoy sports it's a great way to enjoy the hobby it's been around the clock work for kolcheski and company lately he researches cards to buy through wholesalers then spends several hours each day doing those videos on facebook and youtube and then has to turn around and ship those cards out to their new owners as well if you do want to check it out we've got a link to the real breaks facebook page on NBC26.com. Nina?